All right, well, I'm gonna go and hopefully you guys can uh, figure out this uh, thing here. I'm gonna start recording as well. Uh, so Jadong's gonna be in the top left corner, and uh, Huash is gonna be in the bottom right hand corner. This is Tiamat, so that's the only possible places that they could actually spawn. Um, I actually like this map a lot. It's produced some interesting games, but um, it it it's the one where it has the um, the different uh, neutral buildings on the sides where you can, you can destroy the neutral buildings, and um, you know get in and basically do a flank like that and I've seen both Terran players and Zerg players try to do that against the other so I don't know if that necessarily favors one or the other. Ooh, Jadong being slick moving his larvae over to the left side so you can make drones on the left side of his hatchery there. Very nice. Um, so it looks like he is going to probably go for a 12 hatch build. This is a pretty big map so I'm not surprised about that honestly. Um, Washington hasn't made... let's see what he makes here. I he might be going for a quick command. No, never mind. I was going for backs. Uh, sorry about that. I just watched the game not that long ago where someone went for a quick. Uh... Anyways, that doesn't matter. So, uh, Washington's getting his barracks out. He's also going to be going for an economy build. He's not trying any kind of rush or anything. Again, this is a pretty big map. And it's basically, aside from those neutral buildings, you've got one choke point to protect uh, three and a half bases. I say three and a half bases because one of the bases is. Um, it's only got like three mineral patches, so it's fine for Zerg because Zerg don't freaking care as long as there's a gas mine. But uh, it's gonna, <laughs> it's uh, not necessarily worth it for uh, Terrans against Zerg because they're gonna be relying mostly on their uh, mineral patches. By the way, if this does end up actually recording well, and uh, this goes on YouTube later, I'm gonna tell the YouTube people that some of the noises you're gonna hear are gonna be. Uh, people leaving the vent channel, I'm not the vent channel, the uh, IRC channel and stuff like that, so I apologize for those little noises there. But I want to be able to glance over at the uh, chat channel now and again, see what people are saying, and that way if I'm, if I'm like, oh, I didn't see what the building was, they can be like, oh, that was a, a barracks you do. And uh, <laughs> Washington needs to watch out. Washington has to get his command center. Oh, never mind, he's not going to have to retreat. The Marine is going to back up that drone. Or back up the SCV, so uh, <laughs> I thought that drone was going to kill the SCV for a minute there. Uh, Jadong does have his expansion up. Now, I should mention before we get too started into this stuff, Quashin and Jadong have met three times recently. They met actually in the original stages of um, the MSL. I think it was the MSL, yeah. And they've met a couple times recently a Pro League as well. And uh, one was actually the commentary of the week this last week. And all of those times, and Jadon denying a scout here from Huashin, um, it doesn't necessarily mean anything because he's doing pretty much a normal build here, but Huashin isn't going to know that, so he might be a little bit worried here. Uh, he's putting on a bunker just in case, just to be safe there. Um, but yeah, they've met three times recently, and Huashin has won every single time, and he's looked really dominant doing it. So, this is, I mean, Jadong has some proving to do, basically. He has got to prove that he is, does not suck against Terran still, and he's got a lot of links here. He might, if he's waiting for, no, I, you know, I don't know if he's going to have a speed upgrade right now. He, if he has a speed upgrade, I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to do a run-by, because Huashin is not doing a very good job of uh, blocking things off there. He needs to put some Something on the ramp in order for that bunker to really be effective. Um, and there's his SCV, so he'll be able to pull SCVs off the line if necessary. But it looks like Jadong might try and run in and snipe an SCV or two here and there. And that's why Washington has those Marines kind of camped at the top of his command center as well. Um, engineering bay going up. Uh, the spire is about a third. I'm not the, the spire, sorry. The lair is about a third finished. So Jadon going for basically uh, your standard three hatcheries into um, uh, lair, probably into uh, a um, spire. I'm probably going to see basically him just kind of stalling and uh, sending out nine mutalisks as soon as his spire gets complete. Uh, so we'll have to see how that works. But, um,. <laughs> Finally, a game on Tiamat that doesn't involve stork getting cheese. It's true, that happens all the time. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, maybe I shouldn't glance at the chat all that much, I'll get completely distracted. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, we're probably going to see Huashan only ha getting a second barracks up now, so he's gone for a very big economy build and uh, getting his uh, engineering bay up and all that sort of thing. And uh, we've been seeing, again, kind of a lot of Terrans doing that. 
setting on a couple war barracks as well now. So he's now he's going into macro bomb. Now that he's got all of his necessary tech up, he's got his engineering bay. He's probably going to put up some turrets here in a minute. But Huashin has extremely good timing, especially lately. He's been really on top of things. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't put those turrets up until the last possible second. And uh, he may not be able to time it perfectly because his comsats are probably going to be off a little bit. Jadong has his spire in a really funny location. So and uh, and Huashin never got his SCB in to scout where that third hatchery was, so he's not even going to know the scout there until he's wasted at least one scan. So he's going to have to get pretty lucky uh, with his scans in order to see that spire and see exactly where it is. Uh, like I said, though, he's still going to have a, a, a sense of the timing as far as, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, when the spire should be going up. He's got a decent group of medic marines out now, and he's pumping out a four, uh, four barracks, soon to be four barracks. I wouldn't be surprised if he pushes out now to try and put some pressure on uh, on Jadong here. He's got his two um, uh, bases up and running as well. So he needs to push out now if he's going to make a Jadong build any sunken stone, because that spire is going to be up and, yeah, it's, it's up right now. He's going to have nine mulesks out. Actually, it's too late. It's too late for, for Huashin to really push and make him build sunken, because um, he's going to have nine mulesks out by the time uh, Huashin's forces would even get there. So he doesn't have any sunkens up, and he's not going to need it. Well, actually, he's pushing out anyways here, and, you know, the Marine, Met Marines will do a good job against those uh, Mutalists, but he's basically going to have to balance uh, guarding his base and um, guarding his uh, and his attack, basically, uh, because those Mutalists are going to come out, and we'll have to see if Jadong decides to go straight for Huashin's base or if he decides to keep his Mutalists back to deal with these Medic Marines. I don't know if he's... Well, he's got to see them. He was backing his Zerglings off, actually, so he knows that they're there. And Jadong... Oh, Huashin might even be going for... Uh, to tr try and flank, kill one of these neutral buildings off here, but I don't think that's going to work. Uh, Jadong, even though he's been off lately, his Muta Micro is way too good to let uh, Huashin well. I just said that, and then he loses two Mutalisks right off the bat. Uh, the crowd going a little bit crazy on that. And uh, Jadong in a little bit of trouble here now. Huashin is going to need to multitask his butt off in order to make sure he doesn't get picked off by those uh, Mutalisks while he's attacking the neutral building. And there's the Mutalisk right there. The neutral building is almost dead. The Huashin, Jadong needs to go in and pick off some of those, but he's already lost a couple more Mutalisks here. He didn't even produce I don't th think a full 11 here and because uh, he's got that extra hatchery trying to guard that and now uh, Washington has an extra spot to go in with and Jadon Jesus taking a lot of damage here taking a lot of damage uh, from these medic marines and, and not really accomplishing anything he's killed like two marines the entire time when you know someone uh, a greater zerg at this moment we would have expected to kill off that entire medic marine force with just muta micro or even Jadong of three months ago would have killed off the entire medic marine force with, with muta micro by then it looks like Jadong was planning for a longer term build though he's got his evo chambers up he's got his queen's nest going in with just a few Zerglings absolutely getting slaughtered. I don't know what Jadong is thinking here. He's going to lose this base. There's no way he can save this base right now. The only forces he has is Mulus. And um, there's there's no way he can kill all those medic marines with just Mulus. There's like two Mulus left. That hatchery is going to go down and reinforcements coming in for Huashin. So basically, we're going we're gonna to see a two base hive tech off of um, uh, Jadong here in just a moment. Zerglings coming in. Mulus getting absolutely slaughtered. Zerglings getting slaughtered. I don't know why he even wasted his forces on that. That was a pretty uh, last ditch effort to save that third base when really he should have I think held those forces back and used them for something else because he knew he was going to lose that hatchery uh, there wasn't really anything he could do about it uh, I don't even know if he has speed upgrade on his um, on his uh, <laughs> wow Jadong Chi Chi's right off having lost his third base having nothing having no forces um, <laughs> Jadong GG's off the bat and Huashin takes game one very convincingly Jadong putting not, not very much of a fight at all so uh, I'm gonna um, <laughs> sign off for now and come back. I'm gonna talk a little bit in between games, but uh, uh, come back for game two.